Legend of War here, and today we're doing another Doom Swarm battle, this time covering four full stacks of flagellants. So there are 74 units here. So he's actually got two heroes, otherwise he could have had a maximum of 76. There's also the Regiment of Renown one there. Now, it's possible for us to bring all of these units on the battlefield simultaneously, but what we have to do is actually put two of these armies under AI control. So I'm going to control Volkmar and the main army. And what this is going to do is actually allow all of their forces to come in simultaneously as well. Because for every army that you put under AI control, they will bring in an additional army. So this is not going to be a 40 versus 40 battle. It's going to be an 80 versus 80 battle. 160 units on the battlefield simultaneously. So we can see here, order resolve, decisive defeat. It is on the hardest battle difficulty. These guys are in end game crisis, so they've got all their technology sorted. There's quite a lot of flying units. Those are going to be a problem for us to deal with, for sure. Um, but let's just see how they perform. I'd be, I'd, I tell you what, I'll be very impressed if they manage to get a just, just a win here. So let's just see how it goes. Yeah, so those Thunder Barges. Wasting their ammunition, that, that's, that's a bad call, but we have literally no way of shooting it down from the sky. But uh, I don't know, just maybe we'll army lost them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rush at the enemy. We've got reinforcements coming in from all over the place, so I'm just going to let this battle devolve into an absolute brawl. Since there's so much artillery in the first army, again, I'm just going to go straight for it. Also, the sooner we kill a bunch of their units, the better, because we, with, uh, what is it, 160 units on the battlefield, the frame rate's going to tank. It's, it's, it's going to go down a fair bit, at least in the sort of middle stage of the battle as everyone starts coming in. All right, so... I'm just going to rush at them. Because they're going to send their gyrocopters at us anyway. There's a reinforcing army coming in from over this way. And they've got two armies coming in from our rear. There is nothing we can do about their flying units whatsoever. Two thunder barges there. Again, nothing we can do about them. So, flagellants, they're unbreakable. So they have to kill every last one of us. Oh, God. Nothing we can do to dodge that. God damn. I mean, I, I could have given them a bit of extra ward save, but I don't think it would have made any real difference. Come on, get moving. Good. And here comes Volkmar. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I probably should have tried to dodge that. That's okay. I'm not trying to do a disaster battle here. We don't need to win. We just need it to be epic. Also, they're going to have reinforcements coming in from behind us any second. From now, let them come in. It's fine. Go for their artillery. Okay, can't control them because they're under AI control. We should really try not to blob up too much. Because, yeah, otherwise the Thunder Barges, that's just going to make it really easy for them to inflict loads of kills. I mean, it's already going to be easy for them to inflict loads of kills, but there's no reason to make it even easier for them. So we've got a good amount of army buffs. Battle buffs that we can do with the Warrior Priest and Volkmar. That's good. Okay, we've got to get rid of the artillery. Don't get bogged down on a single entity like that. Take out their artillery. Oh man, what a swarm. This is what I was looking for when I said I wanted doom swarms. Oh god, I'm having trouble controlling my units now because it's not registering my clicks as well. Okay, well, it looks like the first army is pretty much destroyed apart from the flying units, which we have no ability to do anything about that. Thorgrim is extremely strong, so I think we'll, for the most part, just ignore him. I can't control some of these units. Well, at least they're not being completely stupid and passive, our allied reinforcements, that is. 
All right, and now let's start getting ready to turn back around and attack these other ones. You guys, over this way. Let's leave a couple of guys behind here to finish the job, but for the most part, let's go. Yeah, it's really hard. It's just not um, not registering my clicks as well. I'm not saying the battle's hard. I'm saying it's uh, hard to get them to do exactly what I want them to do. Because <laughs> it's not just not registering the clicks now. Oh my god. Oh my god, Legend, your computer can't even handle fucking 25,000 units on the battlefield. <laughs> I'm getting a new one. It's coming. Honestly, every single time I call up the like the computer store, they're like, yep, yep, it's going to be here in the next day or so. I'm just like, that was three weeks ago. And then I like, tell you guys, don't worry guys, they said it's coming. What? Corporation d don't lie. Probably hasn't even shown up yet. <laughs> no, what the fuck you doing? That's it. Where are you? Yeah, you stay in amongst them. Make sure to give them the battle buffs. Don't be in a like bogged down fighting a whole bunch of slayers. Go and fight the missile units. Come on, that's it. Get in over there. Get rid of these troll hammer torpedoes. Whoa, somebody doesn't like Volkmar. Yeah, it's the Trollhammer torpedoes. No, 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 no. Hang on, I thought I clicked. See what I'm talking about? I can't fucking click my units. Oh, okay, they did not like Volkmar. So let's, get, let's get him out of there. Probably should have put him on foot in this battle. Given the missile units that they've got. He's just a big target. Oh, yeah. Get him out of there. Come on. Good thing we got that potion of healing, which that's a stupid item for him to have. Normally, a stupid item for him to have. But in this situation here, what a godsend. Okay, we're too blobbed up. It's a godsend for their missile units here. Oh, God. Look at these guys. Get, get them out of here. Fuck. We're both going to get killed. This guy doesn't have any healing. Get him out. Get out of there. Okay, we've got too many units blobbed up here. So we need to go and take out those cannons before they actually kill him. And you, just get the hell out of there. Hopefully they don't notice. How are we doing here? Just try to pull right through if we can. No, 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 no. None of this here. Need to go, go charge at them. Just pull right through. Still some fighting going on over here. Let's pull them over. I feel like the battle is going pretty well, though. No, not yet. Move. We've got to move in on those artillery. Right, none of those ones I can control. Go, 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 go. Over here. Good, those guys got over here. You know, flagellants are pretty quick. Uh, okay, we don't, we don't need all of them. You stay over there, keep fighting. As I said, there is absolutely nothing we can do about the thunder barges. But actually, they're not dishing out as much damage as I thought they would. Lucky for us, they were nerfed. Okay, you guys, pull through there, go after the flame cannons. Yeah, they took that out really quick. Now, if you don't want to micro this hard, there's no reason why you can't put three of your armies under AI control. But you just got to keep in mind that the AI generals may get killed. So they're not going to pull them out of combat like we did. But that being said as well... 
Seems like the AI is focusing more on us than our allies. There we go. Yeah, like I said, there is just nothing. Look, look at their ammo. It's never going to run out. The best thing you can do in this situation here is just try to army loss them as quickly as possible. Which, there's not really that many more ground forces left. From a decisive defeat in order resolve, this performed pretty well. Yeah, look, there's the... The army losses on the Thunder Barges there. Look at that. And, you know, we still got some troops left. <laughs> Thing is, with the Flagellant Army as well, is that, apart from losing all the experience, you can replace these units very quickly, globally. Very quickly. Especially in the later stage of the campaign, you can get up to 30 global recruit slots if you build enough of the menageries. So what's going on here? Yeah, there's nothing we can do about them. So you need... To is army losses actually not enough? Oh my god, army losses isn't enough. Just because they've got such high leadership. There we go. Good stuff. God damn. But yeah, definitely wasn't a good time for our heroes. But I think the other two lords are still around. I don't think any of the characters got killed. So that's good. But yeah, you should probably put them on foot if you haven't already. Let me just have a look at some of these guys. Um, yeah, you should probably put them on foot. Because they will be a lot more durable if you're going to put them under AI control. That's all. That would be the one thing I would change about what he's done here, is just put all of the heroes on foot, just because... Like, we saw how quickly Volkmar took damage. If he was on foot, they would have just missed him. And I get that this mount is very powerful. It gives him a lot of missile resistance. But... Yeah, it also makes him a big target. Do you know what else gives you a lot of missile resistance? If they can't even hit you because you're too small. Wow, heroic... Wow, okay. Jeez. This is all on the max difficulty as well. And... You know, I wasn't cheesing. I just, I just rushed. That's all I did. Damn. God damn. I was really happy with how that performed. In fact, the only army that took massive casualties was ours. And that was a decisive defeat in order resolve. And that, that's on the hardest battle difficulty. What's going on with that? That was weird. It's like, there's no green in it. Is it alive or is it dead? I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah, look, same thing with this one here. Look at that. It looks, what's going on with that? That's weird. Doesn't matter. But yeah, that was... Uh, that vastly exceeded my expectations. But that was basically exactly what I was looking for in a Doom Swarm. Just like a bunch of shit units. Yeah, whatever. A bunch of shit units. You just throw them into a swarm. And just to see how they go. And it performs pretty damn well. None of this stuff here matters. It's not a disaster campaign. The guys is It's got a dwarf in game crisis. These things are going to happen. Yeah, whatever. I don't need to send it so far back. I just want to have a look at the campaign situation briefly. So... If you were to take this army here and go into a camp stance and globally recruit, so you can recruit them at rank 4. Obviously, these ones have a lot of experience, so you would lose a fair bit. Not all of them were max experience. But you get a decent number of global recruit slots. But it is fairly easy to increase them. At tier 4, you get an extra global recruit capacity. And that can be pushed up to 30. So you can basically produce an army and a half of these every single turn. And it's not like they're expensive either. And playing as the Cult of Sigma, uh, I mean, 680 cost. And these guys here outperformed friggin' Slayers and and Hammerers and stuff in this fight. I mean, they got were getting shot by Thunder Barges. And they're like, yeah, whatever, we're still going to beat them. So that, that was a really good Doom Swarm. Because it's like, it's cheap. You just don't care that much if you lose a couple of units. You got really high replenishment. 
you got good bonuses for the entire faction, and you just you just go into a fight, take a load of casualties, and then replace them very cheaply. So yeah, I think that's actually a really good Doom Swarm. If you're going to do it, I think that works out really well there. So this is the kind of stuff that I want to see. I'm getting quite a few Doom Swarms getting sent in that are like super high tier units, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But what I really want to see is I want to see shit units. Units that I have previously ranked like D tier. Like if you can give me a good Doom Swarm of D tier units, units that you would just never expect to be good, like in a regular army, but four full stacks of fucking trash, like I mean, like four full stacks of wolf rats maybe, um, that'd be really interesting to see something like that. So this is this is exactly what I wanted to see from the Doom Swarm. So I really appreciate this guy sending this one in because that that really exceeded my expectations. Decisive defeat in order resolve, heroic victory in manual resolve, and all I did was just like rush in at the in, at the enemy. I didn't even do a good job, so it actually performed really well. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys.